Now we're not out here protesting the club, we're not railing against drinking. We're merely out here to get you guys to think about when you're He's going to look at us, and I'm sure you're all good people. The most of you consider yourself to be a good person, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, and yes. you look like pretty nice people to me. You're beautiful, smart, intelligent, etc. But you know, I used to think I was a good person until I looked at myself by the light of the Ten Commandments and realized that I told lies. And if we tell just one lie, what does it make us? It begins with the letter L. Can anybody guess? Liar. Liar. There you go. And if we take something that doesn't belong to us, even if it's something small, even if it was a long time ago, what's that make us? A thief. Thank you, lady. Now here's one that might get most of the guys I'm probably fifty percent. Right. Jesus said you shouldn't commit adultery, but if you so much as look with lust, you've committed adultery in your heart. Is anybody guilty of that? So has any of you used God's name in vain? If we say O G O D R G D, we're taking the name of God who created us, gave us everything that we hold dear, and we're using it instead of a four-letter password to express disgust. And God calls that blasphemy. It's real serious, folks. And now we've only looked at four of the Ten Commandments, but if we're a liar, a thief, an adulterer at heart, and a blasphemer, and God puts the judges by the standard on Judgment Day, are we going to be guilty? Are innocent. Are you judging? No, I'm asking you to judge yourself. I'm here. <laughs> I judge myself and I was guilty of breaking all chains. You're hoping what is sign when you're judging. No, we're not. We're not judging. We're saying, ask yourself the question. If you die tonight, are you 100% certain where you would go? Because when I looked at myself, I had broken all ten of the commandments. And the Bible says that no liar, no thief, no adulterer, no fornicator will enter into the kingdom of heaven. So, if God gives us justice, what are we going to do? Now, most of us will say, well, God's just going to forgive us, right? He's just going to overlook our sins. But if we got a traffic ticket and we went to the judge downtown and we said, now you're a good judge, um, I've heard that you're pretty lenient, I'm real sorry and I won't do it again, is the judge going to just let us go if we had a traffic ticket? No, he must see that justice is so because he's a good judge and that's his job and God is his justice. He's equal to his love and his mercy. And because he said in his word that he must find it all liars, thieves, and adulterers, and all sin is a transgression of God's moral law, so he must, and his place of punishment is a place called hell, folks. Now, most people don't want to talk about hell in churches today, it's not very popular. So they talk about eternal separation from God and a Christless eternity. But actually, it's appointed once for every man to die and after that the judgment and the wages of sin is death. In hell for eternity. But do you know what God did so you wouldn't have to go to hell? What did he do? Well, God himself came down in the form of Jesus Christ, who was God in the flesh. He lived a perfect, sinless life. He went to the cross, and God laid upon him all our sins. He was bruised for our transgressions. He carried all our sins on the cross, and then he died and he rose again. He defeated death. 
and God accepting that payment on our behalf. But in order for us to accept that, to apply it to our lives, we must confess our sins and we must put our trust in Jesus Christ. We can't, it's just like putting on a parachute. If you're jumping out of an airplane, you don't just believe in that parachute and leave it on the seat. You put it on and it saves your life. You, and that's called being born again. You put your trust, you put your trust in Jesus. Uh, the Bible says if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. It's not enough to just believe. We must confess and repent and put our trust in Jesus. That's our life. That's our and then He gives you a new heart, a new desire. Forgives every sin you've ever committed, and you can go to heaven when you die. Because there's nothing important than where you spend your time. There's nothing in this world worth going to hell. Thank <laughs> you.